Well, welcome back to Helix Biopharma is a channel innovating with purpose, delivering with urgency to score against cancer's biggest and most urgent challenges. To give us an idea and just offer some operational updates around their pipeline with their lead candidates, we have Thomas uh, Merling, the Chief Medical Officer. First and foremost, welcome back, sir. Thank you very much, Kyle, and for the opportunity to, you know, talk a little bit about our lead asset and where we're going with it. Yeah, let's break it down. I mean, LDOS 47, I guess, is the lead. Maybe give us a high-level overview of this for newer audiences and then tell us what's kind of going on from an operational front. Yes, sure. You know, I'm really excited to share the news that our plan is moving forward with our lead clinical asset, LDOS 47, in non-small cell lung cancer, um, are now with the FDA for further assessment, and we're awaiting that feedback in a meeting August 13. So for us, it's a key step, you know, to unequivocally show that LDOS 47 is adding to standard of care in treating first-line patients in non-small cell lung cancer. Now, non-small cell lung cancer has benefited over the last 10 years from the introduction of checkpoint inhibitors, namely Keytruda or Pembrolizumab, which has made it now to first-line therapy in a certain group of patients and certainly makes a huge difference for these patients. Now, pembrolizumab is heavily depending on the immune system functioning, invading into the tumor and really combating the tumor and, you know, get patients into long-term remissions with an increased overall survival. But pembrolizumab, you know, despite its incredible efficacy, um, there is still about only 25 to 28% really benefiting from a long-term response to this drug. In addition to it, you know, patients that are responding to pembrolizumab, they need to have certain preconditions. They need to have an active immune system and a tumor microenvironment, which is commonly described as hot. A hot tumor microenvironment is actually allowing the immune system to invade. It's not blocking the immune system. It's helping, actually, uh, for pembrolizumab uh, to be efficacious. Now, um, it's worthwhile to remind um, our audience that, you know, LDOS 47 is enhancing the activity of pembrolizumab by turning a cold microenvironment into a hot microenvironment. And the way we're doing it is pretty unique. Um, basically, LDOS 47 is changing the pH in the tumor microenvironment well, because when it is acidic, it's basically um, hindering T-cells to invade. It's also making them dysfunctional. They go to sleep or they are, you know, just slow in moving forward. And by changing this with LDOS 47, the pH to go to neutral back again, we're facilitating the activity of Pembro. Now, this is an exciting prospect. And as I said, you know, our next step into the clinic is to really definitely show the activity of the drug. And um, so we're very excited, um, you know, to move forward that way. And we're also excited to hear what the agency has to say. Well, on that note, we will pass it off to the viewers, but consider subscribing as news catalysts come down the wire like this. We're going to bring it to you here as the story evolves. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.